our crappy culture. All right, so I want to talk about, I don't think I talked about this th this last week, and I really do want to talk about it, a show called It's a Good Life, which was an episode of The Twilight Zone. Did I mention this last week? I don't think I did. On The Twilight Zone, one of the, it's universally regarded as one of the top 10 Twilight Zone episodes. Uh, it was this uh, show called It's a Good Life, and it's about a little boy named Anthony, six years old, who has extraordinary mental powers. He can change everything with his mind. And what he has done is he lives in this little town called Peaksville, Ohio, and he wants it to be perfect, so he has cut it off from all other human life. You know, there's no, there's not, no television communication, no phone communication, and everybody has to be happy all the time and only say things that please Anthony. And so the whole town lives in terror. The adults live in terror of this six-year-old boy because he has so much power over them. And as a result, they all have to say everything is good. That's why it's called It's a Good Life. I cut out just this little... Uh, part of this. This is just the, uh, the postman talking to little Anthony and the way they have to talk to him because he has so much power. Howdy, Anthony. Mighty good to see you today. Mighty good. And it's such a good day, isn't it? A real good day. It's a terrible hot day, though. It's a terrible hot day. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Aunt Amy. No, sir, I wouldn't say that at all. It's fine. It's just fine. It's a real good day. What are you doing, Anthony? My, that's real good, whatever it is. I was just wondering what you were doing. I made a goof with three heads. See him? Yeah. Yeah, my, my he's a real fine one. I ain't never seen a gopher with three heads before. I'll make him dead now. I'm tired of playing with him. Be dead. Gopher, you be dead. My lad, it's real fine that you've done that. That's, that's real fine, Anthony. You're a good boy, Anthony. We all love you. So I just want to, I just want to say that this world, Peaksville, Ohio, as run by Anthony, played by Billy Mummy, as run by Anthony, that is the world of political correctness. And Mark Zuckerberg is the new Anthony. All these guys who run uh, Twitter's Jack Dorsey, the guys who are censoring conservative thought on Google and YouTube, which is the same company, the guys who banned uh, my pal Steven Crowder from uh, Twitter and YouTube, the guys who are demonetizing um, uh, Dennis Prager's videos and who fired James Damore for thinking about uh, gender differences. These guys are the new Anthony. And the reason it's such a good comparison is because they match tremendous power with emotional immaturity and moral ignorance. This, this little boy, nobody can teach him because the adults are afraid of him. So nobody can teach him morality. Nobody can teach him right from wrong. And he winds up being confused about why the other kids won't play with him. He doesn't understand why nobody likes him. And it is because they're afraid of him. You know, this thing about fake news, it started, Cheryl Atkinson has detailed this, it started as a, a left-wing movement to silence conservatives. Donald Trump stole and appropriated the term fake news and used it against CNN and all the other fake newsers. But the campaign that was started by David Brock and other Hillary Clinton supporters to censor conservatives has worked. OK, the, all these um, social media companies are now using left wing people like Snopes and PolitiFact and the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is virtually a left wing hate group. They're using them to censor their news and to curate their news. And they are becoming Anthony from It's a Good Life. And the thing is, they think this is going to stop. They were so shocked by Donald Trump's victory that they think if they can just silence Donald Trump's voters, that somehow they can stop anything like that from ever happening again. But I'm here to tell you, and this is what the show has been about, that when you silence people, it just backs up on you. It's not supposed to be a good life all the time. And there's supposed to be argument. There's supposed to be de debate. There's even supposed to be division and hostility. But it's only when you silence one side that you get rage. That's when you, the argument turns into rage. If everybody is allowed to speak, if we are allowed to come to conclusions, if we're allowed to reach truths and laws together without the Supreme Court stepping in and declaring that stuff that is not in the Constitution is in the Constitution, we can 
go forward as one people even when we disagree. It's when you silence people. It's when the media is all on one side. It's when the elites are all on one side and they control the means of communication. That's when you get rage. That's when you get division. And if you want to see war, as these people keep saying we're in, we're not. But if you want to see war, that's how you get there. Who's on tomorrow? We got... Um, Don Ward Farrell, who to talk about the crisis with boys. This is a really important topic. I'm Andrew Claven. This is the Andrew Claven Show. We'll see you tomorrow. The Andrew Claven Show is produced by Robert Sterling. Executive producer, Jeremy Boring. Senior producer, Jonathan Hay. Our supervising producer is Mathis Glover. Technical producer, Austin Stevens. Edited by Alex Zingaro. Audio is mixed by Mike Cormina. Hair and makeup is by Jesua Alvera. And their animations are by Cynthia Angulo and Jacob Jackson. The Andrew Claven Show is a Daily Wire forward publishing production. Copyright forward publishing 2018.